Alright, this is going to be episode 2 of my Metroid Prime playthrough. I'm Smanders36 of the Epic Gaming Guys. And I'm about 20 minutes into the Metroid Prime game. Shit. <clears throat> Last episode I got my missiles, I got my Morph Ball. Uh, going to be looking for my Morph Ball Bomb, going to be looking for my power, uh, my charge beam. Don't actually remember where I'm going. But we'll figure it out. Really? Lame. Well, that's embarrassing. a little bit slower then. Not falling this time. Charge beam! Alright, now we're sure I can actually start to kill stuff. I actually have... I can do damage again! And at a later date when I come back, there is a uh, little entryway there. I'm gonna need my morph ball bomb to blow it up. It's gonna, a lot of this game is just coming back to wherever you uh, gathering the materials and the weapons and the upgrades necessary to actually use or get to these certain places. There's a lot of backtracking. Ooh, 
the other good thing is uh, now that uh, I have the charge beam, charging it up kind of turns the gun into a vacuum. Let's me suck power-ups from a, a long ways away. Not quite that long ways away. Gotta get a little bit closer. Oh God. Fall. Boss fight. Pretty sure this is where I get my morph ball bombs. I have to fight a giant flamethrower. There we go. Incinerator drone. High temperature waste disposal. change that button scheme around. And now I can start blowing stuff up in my armor. Nice thing about doing uh, having the morph ball bomb is you can do little bomb jumps, and if you're pretty good, you can do double bomb jumps. Woot. And then you can blow up little rocks and go in this way, and bomb jump with the missile expansion. Mm 
blew you up. Now also that I have the more fall bombs, I can actually activate the switches like that. Um, this one's gonna drain the room and basically I have to get to the next switch before I'm out of time. Understand their energy spike, but I don't really have time right now. There we go. Bam! There we go. And now I can get to that last door. And now I should probably clear that energy spike. Ah. <laughs> Who knew there'd be an energy spike in the furnace? I don't actually remember what that power upgrade is. But it's probably going to be awesome. Eventually you get uh, the spider ball upgrade for your morph ball and lets you uh, attach to those. Oh really? So it just actually told me where the morph ball or the Energy tank was that was very nice of them. Free energy. Why not? It's just allow me to roll around this new place. Dodge those. Jump, jump. other stuff in here, but I don't remember. I think I need to actually do a couple upgrades before I can... Yes, I can eventually get up there. Nope. Yeah, I need other stuff before I can do that. I think the next thing I'm going for is uh, a various suit upgrade, which lets me go for uh, uh, for lava, or I guess uh, well, not lava anyway, but uh, really hot environments. And I think this is another one of those uh, need to activate four symbols in the room, and that lets me open up the top area. Kill 
her home. Really? Ah, fucking button. Okay, that was not intentional. At all. to dead. Oh, no, actually. Who knew? I'm going the right way. Uh, this next boss fight is Flagra. It's a giant like plant that draws energy from the sun. And after I kill her, I can actually enter some of the water here, and it's not going to kill me, which is a good thing. Of course I forgot one. Right past that one. Lame. I work my way back up to the top again. Hopefully, without falling off and looking like an idiot again. I said without falling off and looking like an idiot again. Platforming can be a little hard in this game sometimes, so you really have no idea where your feet are. And you've got some pretty long jumps you sometimes have to take. Ow. Didn't mean to take that much damage. Giant plant. 
plan to knock down these mirrors and uh, draw energy from the sun. Uh, every mirror that's left, she's stronger. And uh, basically, I have to knock down the mirrors so that she loses strength and then on the uh, little base things under here. Near constant exposure to solar energy, remain active. That's kind of the weakness. So I'm saying, so you gotta knock the. Uh... There we go. So that's the first one. at her base to kick her. Who would guess that there's maybe four channels and I might have to do this four times? Now that all the toxic green goo magically disappears from the water. So the water doesn't hurt me anymore. I still can't really move properly in water, but uh woot. Not dying from the water. 
Various suit. Shit, I get a little uh, upgrading my suit. I think I get a little bit more armor. And uh, I can survive extreme heat. Not quite like contact with lava heat, but um, it allows me to actually go to the, uh, the Magmor Caverns. For Sam is looking like a badass again. Now the basic, basic suit is uh, pretty lame. go this way, or even want to go this way. Not really. Let's go back that way. I know there's a bunch of upgrades I can pick up right now. I don't want to do that. I think there's an energy tank and some missile expansions I can pick up. Probably in there. Tank. I think in order I have to. Yes, I have to hit all these switches here. Now, so that first one, super easy. Second one, I gotta time it a little bit more. And third one's a bit of a pain in the ass. Except, double bomb jump. Missiles. Yeah, that was an extremely inefficient way to kill those guys, but I had fun. So the match. Where's your tank? Not rolling off the edge. Haha. Go back that way. Yeah, uh... eh, worth it for an energy tank. Okay. 
care about those little guys. Ooh. There's nothing I can do here. I can get another missile tank. Spot to save. Let's do that. Oh, 